Uh, so why don't uh, lower bounds make any sense? Well, um, uh, take a look at this. Suppose we've written a generic type uh, of uh, T uh, super number. What would you expect that to do? Well, um, if you expect it to mean that um, you've got to supply number or a super type of number to any parameterization, then you get no benefit from it at all. Because you might, for instance, supply object. Because you might supply object, the compiler can't assume that you've got access to anything at all in number. Therefore, the compiler would have to use object in the erasure. And so you get nothing out of it at all. Uh, notice the difference here between uh, between this and um, uh, wildcard parameterization. Because um, here you're dealing with the internals um, of the of the type. And uh, it's rather restrictive as a result. So um, just to remind you then, um, um, generic type declarations have no lower bound only upper bounds and uh, what's more they have formal type parameters and not wild cards you see that's that's got to be a formal type parameter you cannot have that as a wild card actually it turns out you can have wild cards here but not here that's got to be a type parameter so as a result of that if you take a look at this it's all all of these are, are meaningless as you can see the first one because um, you can't have uh, lower bounds, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, this one because you can't have uh, uh, wild cards, it has to be a type parameter. And again here, you have to have a type parameter, not a wild card. So, once again, don't confuse generic type declarations with parameterized types. They're slightly different, one comes from the other, but um, you don't get the syntax mixed up.